Thanks for tuning in to Shaw Arts and Entertainment. I'm Curtis Anderson, and what an exciting day here on Shaw a and &E. I'm in the dressing room right now of the one and only Kyle Riabko. Kyle, how are you doing? Good, man. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. I couldn't be happier. Couldn't be in a better place right now. How yeah. excited are you to be back in Saskatoon? Very, very excited. It's always fun, especially just to see my family and to hang out in the city where I grew up. So it's, it's good to be back. If you don't mind me saying, kind of an odd gig. Opening up for yeah. the Pussycat Dolls tonight, what's that going to be like? It'll be fun, man. It, it is an odd gig. It's an odd match for us because we're used to playing with, you know, blues guys and, and mm -hmm. rock and roll musicians. But... It's, you know, it's going to be a great audience and excited. People are going to be excited to be here regardless, and they're going to be music lovers. I'm not a lonely boy. I have a million friends. But I never know just where their story ends. You were part of uh, Motep's Groove True. back in 2000, 2001, and then what happened? You, you left the city. Give us an update. Yeah, I kind of left and started working in Winnipeg for a while with mm -hmm. a, uh, my, a new manager called Chris Burt Gaffney, and, and uh, we started writing together and, and kind of creating a mass of songs, and, and then we... Uh, just started shopping them for a record label, and the first one we sent to, Aware uh, Columbia, we signed a deal with them very quickly after, and, and then things just kind of started motoring after that. It's got to be an exciting time in your life. Yeah, it was great. It was really, it's, it's, it's been a great, you know, four or five years, and, and uh, it just kind of continues, and it just becomes a part of what you what you are. I mean, we, Dylan and I, my tour manager here, have been, t have been touring together for the last three years, and we've been doing um, 200 to 300 shows a year constantly. So it's like it's, it's very taxing and, and a lot of work, but it's, we love it so much. Oh, you are just telling me before the camera started rolling, you have an intense schedule right after this? Yeah, we're, we're on tour with the Fray right now, and we head over to Edmonton and then Calgary and Vancouver, and we keep, keep going. And, uh, and then we have a couple, couple months in the States and some more dates up here. So it's, just, it's, all, it's constantly going, and every day you learn something new. Like, we never really know what we're doing. Two, two months from now, so it's but it's very exciting. Yeah. And you've had the chance to play with some big names, and you're going to play with some more big names in the future. Yeah, uh, we, we've been very lucky. We've toured with everybody from uh, from Buddy Guy to the Wallflowers to James Brown to, and now we're doing some dates with BB King and and in the future. And it's it's been really really great. We're very fortunate. I am a businessman. According to Lally's man Trust me, I cheated well But I'll be, I'm a fake But teach me how, how to know Teach me now, I need your help Teach me to live How did you develop that talent? I guess at such a young age. Well, I always loved the guitar for some strange reason, as a like a baby. And uh, when I was ten, my parents bought me a, a classical guitar, and I started taking lessons. And and it just kind of happened very, very quickly. I just see, my teacher taught me a couple blues licks one day, and I realized, oh my God, not only is this, it just came very easily and very naturally. And and then after that, it's just practice. You know, it's just the, it's just it's just practice. I slept mm -hmm. with my guitar. I lived with my guitar. Mm -hmm. I never left it. And that that's. All. <laughs> the same humble Saskatoon boy I knew six years ago? You can't, you can't possibly not be. When yeah. you're from Saskatoon, it's the most humble place in the world. You're, you're always, when people ask me where I'm from, I always mm -hmm. still say Saskatoon. And they always, uh, they say, oh yeah, I know. is that in uh, Toronto or Vancouver? Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, it's, it's always a weird thing. Well, again, I, last time I saw you was like five, six years ago as part of Motep's Groove. Since then, I think the local band scene here in Saskatoon has just become incredible. Like it was pretty yeah. good back then, but there's so much talent here right now. I, I mean, other than move to Toronto, <laughs> what advice do you have for some local acts right now? Well, certainly move to Toronto isn't, isn't advice. I think you can do mm -hmm. it all here. Mm -hmm. I, I only live there now because I do a lot of songwriting and, and work, work like that mm -hmm. is, is really, uh, there's a lot of work there like that. But, yeah. but uh, there's such a great scene here and such fantastic support. And I think the only advice 
is just to play as much as you possibly can. You know, do as whatever kind of gigs. We would play gigs in swimming pools. We play gigs, you know, in bakeries and bookstores and you know wherever you can. And and that's really how we kind of gained our experience. <laughs>